the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back. 623 is the time. A recent study says this could be a bad year for Lyme disease, whether it's Lyme disease or Rocky Mountain spotted fever. We know that ticks are a part of outdoors in Arkansas, and so we want to keep you safe with the help of Baptist Health. Dr. David Gerson with the Sherwood Family Medical Clinic is here this morning, and he's telling us a little bit more about those two things. We yeah. hear a lot about in the news, yeah. of course, they're a couple of the worst that you could possibly get from tick-borne sure. illnesses. Sure. And uh, here in Arkansas, we have a lot of ticks, but not as much of the Lyme disease yeah. as maybe that's projected out there like they have in the north. Sure, yeah. So this, this year, they are projecting a very big bump in Lyme disease, but it's mostly up north. That's good for us. In Arkansas, we've only had in the last five or six years, we've only had two reported cases of Lyme in the entire state. They're confirmed. So yeah. it's a it's a risk, but and it's something to be aware of, but it's very, very low risk. Rocky Mountain spotted fever actually is a little higher, even though it's still low. Yeah. So that we talk about, you know, five to six hundred cases a year mm -hmm. um, in the whole entire state. But just still something to be aware of because we do see a lot of people with tick bites because the ticks they, they hold on and yeah, they're tough right. to get off. Yeah, you can't just flick them off. They're not you, like a mosquito where you can smack them away, you right? You can't. And in yeah. fact, you, you want to be careful. And I've kind of I brought a little assistance here, a little a little <laughs> a tick stuffed a little animal, tick right? Stuffed animal yes, to which kind I didn't of show even know they made, can. by the way. <laughs> yes. Um, you want to be careful with the tick because when a tick is is on you, so typically he's buried his head straight down into that into that skin, yeah. and his body's here. So the the you know most most people will go, oh, there's a tick. They grab it, yeah, and they squeeze it, and uh -huh. you don't want to do that because that's where the blood and the fluids are and the potential for infection are. Okay. And so what's really important is to get a pair of tweezers, a pair of tweezers that are very sharp. They're actually made specifically for taking out um, splinters. Okay. okay? Yeah. You want to come up on that tick, right up on that tick head as close as you can as possible and gently kind of gently tug 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 and the tick will let go oh really will okay. come out now there are a lot of family remedies people talk about they talk about nail polish and putting vaseline on them and using a match i will tell you as far as the vaseline and the nail polish that you can try that if you want do not try the match we actually find that the ticks tight that heat makes them bore closer in. Okay. Now we're showing some of the pictures of these little buggers. They're so creepy. That's the rash you get from Lyme. That's called the target rash there, okay. the bullseye rash. What's really important is for the next month, you're going to have the nymphs. These are the smallest ones. There you go. See, there's that. Yeah, the close the, pull. The real close yeah, right pull, up gently on... pulling up, and it oh. comes right out. Yep. But the, for the next month or two, they're the really tiny. Like Make sure that, you know, with your family members, you're checking each other real closely. When you're out in that garden, use some uh, DEET yep. or some permethrin, which you can easily get at any pharmacy. Okay. Um, and that'll keep them off you. All right. Well, best of luck to everybody out there in the wilderness who, as those ticks come crawling, they Don't won't be that big, suckers. fortunately. So you're fortunate in that case. <laughs> Doc, thanks for coming in. As always, pleasure. appreciate you stopping by. There's the information for the Baptist Health Helpline. Baptist-Health.com for more information.